philosophies Get broke down just like pottery It's possible Satan is waiting and making it hard for me So I take game, change game like Monopoly Now they know it's me spitting poetry like Socrates They've never felt the misery They've never seen my province or know my country's history The blister feet pollution greed spanning U.S. colony Planet all this fallacy, corruption and mentality Performance art is an incredible medium for indigenous people Because it gives us control over real-time content And the way that people see us and, and what people see Because it's important because we're contesting popular culture we're contending uh, popular misconceptions through history and through the perception of Western culture. Survivors of genocide residing in the trap. I used to keep this inside until I decide to rap. My ancestors ain't died for me to lie on my back. Can't take it sitting down, instead I'm fighting back. How the uh, hip hop culture and uh, the ghetto life and the, and the res life are similar is like early on uh, when we listen to hip hop, you know, we. You hear those struggles, you know, poverty, you know, drugs and alcohol, you know, all, everything that comes with that environment. And so being from the reservation, you know, we could relate to that. When it comes to trying to make change in the world, you can spout rhetoric and numbers and facts at people, and maybe some people listen, but we've just become so numbed and desensitized to hearing all of those things that I think art is one of the most powerful weapons and tools that we have as indigenous people. So what the hoop dance means for us is, uh, is a storytelling device of how to make a journey through this world kind of thing and it'll, it'll take you places and open doors. With our dances, like we use it to like bridge like contemporary, urban, res, uh, city, non-city, like create this new voice that like yeah you can like bring what you have from where you're from and share it with like the rest of the world. We're breaking the stereotypes of what people think of when they see native dance and native um, entertainment really and so something that we're pushing forward is literally making that impact, making that change, making people um, think outside the box, not only as spectators, but also as artists. There's a number of places in this country where there's not a lot of indigenous people. And so it's pretty easy for people to dismiss and just be like, oh, they're not here anymore, they're not, there's not enough of them. Uh, when you have events like this, you're, you're showcasing in force an incredibly large and diverse group of indigenous people that are using music and art and spoken word and film and, um, and even uh, you know, spray cans to, to express something that sticks out. And that expression ultimately is that we're still here and that we matter and that we're going to you know, take control of these things and define ourselves. For me, this resilience movement means expressing the love, the strength, the intelligence, the creativity that our ancestors had through our, our modern day art forms in whatever, in whatever ways we choose to express ourselves as indigenous artists. All of that love and creativity, intelligence and resilience is in our DNA because that's how we survived genocide. That's how we're here. The fact that we're here is a testament to all of that. So this movement means expressing that and spreading that message and those energies you know, to each other and to the audiences that will be coming in in whatever way we choose fit and building solidarity, bringing about hope and bringing about inspiration. It's only a matter of time before our art infects the world. <laughs>